It's been another great year for the movement for Reform Judaism. <music> Members of the movement, rabbis and the leadership team continue to represent our needs to our community and the Jewish community to the wider world. Tony Bayfield's done an amazing job over a long period of time in bringing the reform movement into the heart of the community. And he's forged the way for there to be a multiplicity of voices representing the reform movement. You need personality to be able to deliver the policy. And you end up with a very fragmented and divisive society, precisely at a time when we should be doing the opposite. We are at the Wimbledon and District Synagogue and within the movement for reform Judaism. The reform movement is at the very centre of the British Jewish community and Jewish life in this country. Well, I grew up in the reform movement. The last few years, we've been more involved in the reform movement than ever before because my wife's converted. And it's been a wonderful experience. We know we are on our way to Israel. We know that our involvement with West London and with the movement has been the most marvellous preparation and given us uh, a real grounding in Judaism and Jewish values. I'm immensely proud as a member of the reform movement to be going to represent my country. Support from the reform movement has helped establish student outreach across the country. We're generations, a new Jewish organisation for students and young adults. Through campus activities, leadership tours and social action events, Generation is delivering on its promise to attract, energise and revitalise Jewish youth. For me this has been a really formative trip. We're leaving with a real feeling generally of optimism and of, and of activism, wanting to do something and feeling like we can support each other and wanting to do that. Wow, this is going to be surreal. A lot to take in. Generation has continued to forge new paths, helping to support people along their particular Jewish journey. The partner of the Jewish person is often really intrigued and interested in, and up for explore, exploring Judaism. And so what you might start with is somebody who, who didn't think that having a Jewish partner was very important to them and who socialised primarily with non-Jews and then wound up with a non-Jewish partner and then says, actually on consideration, we're both really interested in Judaism and we kind of want to know more about our heritage. You sort of get two where you previously had none. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'd always thought, well... If I'm not going to marry a Jew, then maybe I don't have a right to go to these, these sorts of things anymore. It was just a really nice message that you, you can still be Jewish and go to Shul and your partner will be welcome. And if it wasn't for that, I'm sure I'd be going to Shul a lot less. The message is that if you want to identify or do any Jewish stuff, then the door's open to you and you can do it on your terms. And there are other people who are doing the same thing. The movement's vision has led to the establishment of the country's first Jewish cross-communal secondary school. The 27th of August is handover, so you've got 10 days. Well, it's incredible if you think that last week none of this was paid. JCOS is a school that reflects the plurality of the Anglo-Jewish community. This school is nothing short of transformative for British Jewry. The reform movement has been crucial in the development of JCOS and the support from the reform community, not just within the community, but in lobbying local and national governments to make the school a reality, has been crucial, not least the support of Rabbi Tony Bayfield. Thanks to your support, this year alone, the movement has reached over a thousand young people. This is my first time on camp and it's actually been unbelievable. It's a testament to how good RSY is, but this is my 10th year and I just keep on coming back every summer. Through winter and summer camps, leadership training, Israel tour and the Schnut Gap Year programme, RSY Netzer has been changing the lives of Jewish young people. If I hadn't have been on tour, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the confidence I do today. Even when you're not on camp, it's, it's, you still feel part of something really special. I particularly find it exciting watching 17 and 18 year old leaders run a camp for a 115 year old. I think I'm a better person for having been in RSY Netzer. I had a Leo Beck College board meeting last night and I just ducked out of an assembly of rabbis meeting this morning. So I don't know what it is that you've been doing, but you've got the rabbis buzzing. This Shabbat is Shabbat Chazon. The Chazon is vision. And I can't think of a better word to describe what it is that you're about and what it is that we're about than chazon, vision. Ten years ago, 
given the position of the reform movement on the margins of the community, I really wasn't sure that this community had a future. Now, all I have to do is to look at the response to our day schools, our youth movement, the Generation Initiative, with Shoshana to take us on the next stage. I think the sky's the limit. Your involvement allows us to continue this essential work, so thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. You are the reform movement. Everything we do is because of you, for you, and we couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Thank you for your support.